And welcome, this is Davers84. We're going to be playing some Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. I apologize for the uh, sound um, from the TV. And my capture card isn't re doesn't actually record from the TV for some reason. The actual noise. Or sound, I guess. Let's turn that down a little bit. So, um... It's actually recording through the mic, so hopefully it, it kind of sounds kind of crappy. So uh, just bear with me through this. So all right, uh, and it sounds really crappy because my TV is actually a lot further away. Anyways, enough with the introduction stuff. Let's get this started. All right. Oh, register. Let's do a new one. So. All right, here we go, and let's get this started. Now I have beaten this game, and we started off in this uh, palace here, that is Princess Zelda. And uh, as you notice, this is side scrolling. <laughs> it's kind of different from Zelda, and we're to the overview. All right, so I'm not gonna really go into a lot of detail about the game. Uh, I mean, I'll go into detail where I need to, but I'm not going to explain the whole why it's different than other Zeldas. So, one thing is about this is if you stay on these on this actual path, the enemies won't be able to uh, hit you. And if they do, it just takes you to an empty screen. So, um, it's the first town. Let's read the sign. Welcome to Raru. Alright, and you can talk to the different people. Like this lady says, return the crystal to the palace in Parappa, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Go in these doors. You can talk to this guy. He says, if all else fails, use fire. It takes really long for some reason for them to talk. talk every town has this whore. She's wearing a red dress. You talk to her, and she takes you inside her house and refills your life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these townsfolk will give you hints, but sometimes not. Only the hammer can destroy a roadblock. Oh yes, the hammer. Oh yes. Oh, we gotta talk to this lady. There we go. Let's talk with my father before you leave. So wait for her to go back in, to open up the door, and then you can go in. Each town has a wise man. Learn from them. All right. So, each, and each town does has one of these guys that you can talk to. And Parappa Desert use this magic to survive. Mm -hmm. And it is shield. Now that's one thing about this game. Uh, it, you can use magic. First, I thought it was kind of lame. But really, it's not that bad. You can learn different spells and whatnot, and that's one that we'll use a lot. So um, make sure you do get that before going to the desert. And that's the only reason why we came into this town. I can't think of any other reason, any other, anything else that's in here in this town that we need. All right. And first things first. Uh, we're going to try to build up the character just a little bit. You get what these, what are called pea bags. <laughs> and, uh, they're basically experience points. You get so many and you can level up. Right now I have 50 experience points so I can level up my life. Or I can go to cancel, which is what we're going to do. And I can try to get some more, level up my uh, magic or my um, offense. And uh, let me think here. And otherwise, you can always go to, you can fight these guys, see how they take you to these. Uh, oops. Oops. Yeah. yeah, I fight with like this itty bitty little butter knife. I don't know why they decided to give you such a short little dagger. 
We're gonna kind of level up because I absolutely suck at fighting one of the enemies in the first dungeon. That's a magic bottle. It fills up your magic, but just partially. There's also a red bottle that fills your magic up all the way, or pretty close to all the way. Ooh. I don't know if he's ever... Dang it. Sometimes those guys give you experience points, sometimes not, it looks like. If you've ever watched, um... If you've ever... Look, there's, see, sometimes they give you fairies, too. If you've ever watched uh, the Zelda cartoon, those guys will look familiar. That I was fighting this dog looking thing. This is a dark cave. There are enemies in some dark caves. There was just one in that one. Uh, don't run into these because they're not very helpful. Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and show you the first dungeon. Uh, I'll probably end up pausing at some point in time so I can level up. I don't want you guys to have to watch me level up continuously. It'll take forever. Videos will be very long. First dungeon isn't too too rough. These guys die in one hit. If they hit you, I think they take away life and magic. So but that really matters there. These guys are real easy. Just like this. Yeah. They give you a 30. That's pretty good. Get a key. And really, actually, you can jump up there. Uh, there's another town that we could have gone to and got the another spell called the jump spell. Makes you jump a little bit higher. You can jump up there. Obviously, there's no reason to jump up there. So we'll go ahead and keep going. Oh. Ah. I'm trying to get that to go down. I'm going to go down. We're gonna die here soon. But it's all right. You do have three lives. Um, every time you die, you'll end, you'll start off in the room where you died. But if once you die completely, all three lives, then you start back at the palace with Zelda, and um, you lose all your experience points. So if you realize that you're about to level up, and but you're also on the verge of death. Try to level up as much as you can before um, before you die. Try to get as many experience points. That way, you don't lose all those experience points from before not. There we go. Yeah, so there's a really fast one. I knew that. Uh, and now you can kill those guys. It takes forever. <laughs> Takes lots and lots of hits. As lame, lame death. Come on. You guys only gave you two. Not really worth killing, to be honest. All right. And now here. Ha ha! Oh no. Uh, nope. The main thing I want to upgrade is my attack. As you can see, it's at 200. So. And really, I want to upgrade it like twice. Or one more time afterwards. These guys are really easy. All you gotta do is kind of get close to him. Be careful because he does jump forward sometimes. But those things aren't going to hit you. Oh, that was stupid. Ran right into him. Oh, and these guys. These guys suck. I am really bad at fighting these guys, just so you know. Which right now I'm actually doing. Oh, crap! Oh, I got him! Nice! And we're gonna go with the attack. There we go. Oh, no key! No! I know where one's at, though. Hopefully those guys don't come back. 
Actually, I know where two two keys are. Oh, don't want to die from these. Dang it! I don't know if those those the enemies have come back now. I don't think they do. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can get the other key and get back here before um before I die again. Oh, good grief. I think they're retarded. And I want to be honest, these, this this series is probably going to be a lot of videos because I will die multiple, multiple times. The dungeons are hard. Uh, they take definitely more than the 15 minute time limit I'm given. Oh, come on. And... There we go. And so, um... There will be lots of videos, but hopefully you'll watch them all because they are fun. See, there's a red one, did you? Now, over here, my friend's texting me. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Because I, I guarantee you I'll have a game over before I finish this <laughs> dungeon. So, but I usually like to keep that fairy there. Uh, so I can come back to it if I start going low on health. So here's a key. Alright, let's head back. Actually, let's go ahead and go this way. Since this, uh, this is only this is the only room on the other side of that. I think it's another key if I remember if I remember correctly. And it's just one of those bear looking things. go. That was easy. Oh, and so, there are, you'll see these statues every now and then, and if you hit them, not all of them, but some of them will give you, uh, oh, cheaped me out there. Um, some of them will give you, like, magic potions. I don't know if they give you a fairy, but, um, And so it kind of helps. Sometimes they're at the beginning of different dungeons. The statues are, and uh, now not all of them. Sometimes they come. They like to come to life. So you just gotta kind of be careful. So, uh, all right. oh, oh, good grief! All right. Now I just gotta upgrade my weapon one more time. And then we'll upgrade the lot my my health. Which we might not might not necessarily do before uh, before we finish this dungeon. Oh good grief! What in the world? Ah! Uh, yeah. Screw it! All right. I'm already at like the 15 minute time limit. Alright, getting really close at 14. Come on! Oh my goodness. Oh my god! Look at that. See, so I lose all my freaking ah! 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 Well, it's into the first video. Lost all my experience points. Uh, it's just the frustrating part about this game, and. Uh, It'll happen so often the first like three dungeons. Once you get past like the third dungeon, it's a little bit better. But uh, all right, that's the end of the first video. Do stay tuned because it will get better. I promise.